All right, so today I'm going to be preparing you guys for the highly anticipated Extreme Z Awakening for AGL Terrorless that's going to be dropping on Global in a couple days from now on August 15th. Now, the funny thing is, I remember a few weeks ago I was streaming and someone asked me a question about the Dokkan Fest Raditz banner. And I distinctly remember when I was answering them, I accidentally called it the Dokkan Fest Terrorless banner, which was probably a Freudian slip because, let's be honest, the Dokkan Fest Raditz is definitely not the highlight of the current campaign. It's by far the Turles EZA, um, at least for me and for a lot of people, I feel like, because the Raditz has a lot of problems, to say the least, whereas the Turles EZA is amazing. He's awesome. He is, in my opinion, one of the best TUR EZAs we've ever seen, and uh, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that he is a million times better than Raditz is right now in his current form. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be breaking down the Extreme Z battle for Turles as well as his Extreme Z Awakening details. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. And before we get into the details, let's start with the Extreme Z battle event first. So as you can see, the weakness is going to be the low class warrior category. And getting into the levels, it's your standard 30 level Extreme Z battle event. So you're getting one Dragonstone for every stage. You're getting some Extreme Z Awakening medals, some AGL orbs, and also some AGL Kai's. And uh, one important thing to note is that he's getting, uh, after level 3, additional damage reduction of 70% against all extreme type units and then after level uh, 12 he's getting 80% but aside from that he doesn't get any additional damage reduction against specific types so uh, you do have some more I guess flexibility in your team building compared to uh, other extreme Z battle events and yeah once you go through all 30 levels you're going to be able to get all of the uh, extreme Z awakening medals you need to fully extreme Z awaken your tier list along with enough AGL orbs to rainbow an AGL unit, and 11 Grand Kai's and 30 Dragonstones, along with uh, four more Dragonstones from the missions right here for a total of 34 stones. Now, as far as the low class warrior category goes, here is a quick look. Now, I would imagine that a uh, free to play team Bardock setup would probably do the trick, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, you do have some other options, but once again, you don't want to bring the uh, extreme guys because they're basically going to do no damage. And uh, if you don't want to do Team Bardock, you could also probably go with a super tech team. I think that would work pretty well. So yeah, that is the Extreme Z battle event. Now let's jump over to Turles himself, and we'll start with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details for comparison purposes. So the current leader skill without the EZA is movie bosses category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150% or extreme types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. And his passive is all allies key plus three and attack plus 40%. Super class enemies attack minus 15% and then activate the Fruit of the Tree of Might boost when conditions are met. And the boost conditions are 25% chance to activate Fruit of the Tree of Might boost for 3 turns when HP is 80% or below. So as you can see, he is a very good support unit because he's providing 40% attack and key plus 3 for all allies, not just uh, extreme types. And uh, that was always what he was known for, what he was good for. But unfortunately, he didn't do much else. I mean, he debuffed super class enemies a little bit, but it wasn't really, you know, that much of a difference. And then the boost was actually a bit of a liability since um, most of the time you didn't want him to transform because once he transformed, he would no longer support you. And his transformation wasn't really that good in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that wasn't great either. So with the Extreme Z Awakening now, of course, they address a lot of these issues. So let's jump over to the EZA 
His leader skill becomes Movie Bosses Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, or Extreme Class Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. His Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance. The stun, which unfortunately is the same chance, but this you know raising of attack and defense for one turn is new. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 160%, all allies key plus 3, and attack plus 40%, and then all allies defense plus 40% when there is a super class enemy. So basically, if you're facing a super class enemy, then he's providing key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40% for all allies, which is amazing. And then he gets super class enemies, attack minus 20%, and activates the fruit of the Tree of Might boost when conditions are met. And the conditions are pretty similar, except he gets a 30% chance to activate the boost now for three turns when HP is 80% or below compared to 25% uh, before the EZA. So yeah, a lot more attack and defense, uh, even better support, uh, a little bit more debuffing of superclass enemies' attacks, and also a slightly higher chance of getting the uh, Fruit of the Tree of Might boost. So let's pop over to the boosted Turles now. And once again, we're doing the pre versus post Extreme Z Awakening comparison. So uh, before the Extreme Z Awakening, his super attack caused immense damage with a high chance to stun. And then his passive was attack and defense plus 130%, recovers 15% HP and superclass enemies defense minus 80% at the start of the turn. With the Extreme Z Awakening, his super attack becomes raises attack and defense, which can be stacked for as long as you're boosted, and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And then his passive recovers 20% HP, attack and defense plus 200%, all allies keep plus three, plus an additional defense plus 100% when there is a super class enemy, and then super class enemies defense minus 80%, and then attacks effective against all types when HP is 80% or more. And obviously this is much easier to achieve, or you know, pretty easy to get when you're getting 20% HP recovery from him as well, right? So um, yeah, this is just, an excellent Extreme Z Awakening, in my opinion. Uh, his transform state is actually really powerful now, especially defensively. And uh, even though I think a lot of times I still would prefer if he didn't transform, if he does get the transformation, it's really good, right? So I wouldn't complain as much if he, you know, did that for a couple turns. And uh, he's an even better support unit now, which was always what he was known for. Um, he can actually do some damage by himself, he can actually tank a little bit too, especially in the transform state. And yeah, there's not much else to say, I just think he's awesome. He is uh, probably the best support unit in the game right now. I mean, not like from a numbers perspective, because that's probably still the Fizz Kid Boo, right? Who provides up to 50% attack and defense, but this guy... If you factor in his ability to do damage and also tank and also provide this amazing support, uh, as a whole, he's probably, yeah, the best support unit in the game after the Extreme Z Awakening. And taking a quick look at his stats, uh, at Rainbow Status, he gets up to 19,559 HP, 18,997 attack, and 13,037 defense. That is a ton of defense guys that is a really really high defense that his attack is quite high nothing insane we've seen higher from TURs but that defense is uh is incredible so uh yeah there you go guys that is your full breakdown of the extreme z battle event as well as the extreme z awakening for the AGL Turles as i said man by far the highlight of this campaign hopefully Raditz gets one uh sooner than later that is made by the same person that made this easy 8 because Raditz definitely needs it and uh, it'd be nice to see him get a very well made Extreme Z Awakening uh, like Turles got, right? So anyways, um, this video isn't about Raditz, it's about Turles. He's awesome and uh, 
He's coming soon, guys. So get excited, get hyped. That is all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.